I'll use my mother as another example. She started in her 50s. She's now 83. She'll be 84 next month. No chronic diseases. The same weight, same healthy weight, same hourglass figure that she had in her 30s and her 50s. She exercises twice a day, six days a week. Pilates, weight training, aerobics, yoga, tai chi. I mean, she's, she walks miles a day. She's in excellent health. I mean, how many women do you know at that age who can do that? And um, particularly in our communities, African-American women, because we typically are going to have diabetes, hypertension, you know, high blood pressure for a number of systemic reasons, but also because of the way we eat. And it's really interesting that you don't think about it, you know, as an omnivore usually, you know? It's just when you're introduced to something new or you have a vegetarian or vegan friend, and then you, all of these things that you've heard, well, what about your protein? Well, what about this and what about that? But you don't think about it for yourself at all, right? Mm -hmm. um, and uh, a lot of people are walking around in a state of, of, of unease, disease, uh, you know, uh, not great health and don't realize it. I mean, you realized it, but a lot of people are not quite there, that they're not healthy either right but they don't know it until they get healthier and they feel and you know the difference this is the 10th anniversary of my first book by any greens necessary and that focus that was the first vegan diet book for black women and that helped uh you know lots of lots of women go vegan thousands of women i'm very proud of it um very influential book and for the anniversary i wanted to do something big right um, and so I came up with the idea of, of helping 10,000 black women go vegan in one year.